Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. This is for today's video. It's Saturday. On Saturdays, I do Cellar Saturday, where I actually drink something off the shelves behind me. So it's Christmas time. I wanted to do three Christmas beers this month. Um, so I'm starting with this one, 2016's, so it's aged six years, uh, St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. Um, and I started filming this and I had a really hard time with that cork and it got to the point of being ridiculous. So I turned that review off, that recording off, got the cork out, put my <laughs> very festive stopper, Santa Claus upside down in a chimney, in and now we're ready to actually pour and you can see i didn't drink any of this let's get into it proper glassware so you know it's going to taste better but yeah so it's this weird thing where like i always just film once you know um i don't like edit things together and um it's like wait what did i say in that other video or was that this video what did i forget to say so i picked this one because I, I already picked the three i'm going to be doing this month but i picked this one just because it's the biggest format and um although this will be the day after i'm going to finish drinking this on the nerd sense guys channel um for their holiday special so that i'm sure at this point if you're watching this video uh that stream is well over but it should be uploaded to youtube you can still watch it um and i'm going to do um if you haven't watched it already I have a top 10 beers of the year. That's going to be a separate video on my channel, but I'm going to show you the four that were the runners-up that I had to knock off um, that top 10 list. We're going to exchange some presents. A lot of shenanigans. Anyway, end of commercial, back to this beer. A lot of carbonation. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the way the lighting is shining through where it's like a little thinner and red, a um, lot of carbonation. Love it. After six years in this bottle, plenty of carbonation. Um, it's brown with some red mixed in for sure. Not quite like a purple color, but um, uh, definitely, yeah, this like brownish red thing. Um, a tan head, uh, it looks super like creamy. Like it just, I don't know, it looks like it's supposed to completely. When I did get the cork off finally, I did get a little bit of aroma right out of the bottle. Not on purpose, and I can get a little bit already, but let me stick my nose into it. That Belgian candy, you get the, the Belgian yeast for sure. <sighs> clove into a little bit of just like generic baking spices, but I do get clove specifically. Molasses, brown bread, all that kind of stuff. A little bit of grape. I, I like grape juice in this style quite a bit. Do you want me to read the back? What did it, you should know this beer. You should you should know St. Bernard's by now. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Ooh. This is as good as it's ever been, even at six years old. Wow. You get that grape juice thing I like. You get the brown bread, molasses. Um, and the aroma, I didn't get much dried fruit. You get a little bit of that in the taste, which I really like. When I went, ooh, uh, about like three quarters of the way through the sip, that's where I got like the, the sweet dried fruit note. Uh, a little bit of raisins and dates, figs, plums, all that kind of stuff that is, is typical of style. Um, this has really nice balance. There is super creamy mouthfeel. It's awesome. Um, but like you do have these really sweet elements, but then there's also very dry elements. Uh, so there's balance there, which I really appreciate. It's, it's just like a remarkably well done beer. It's a little prickly still. Mm, yeah. It, oh man, the um, the like raisin date portion goes right into a little bit more of like that brown bread. So you almost have like this sweet baked with fruit, you know, dried fruits in it. Um, uh, kind of a vibe like in beer form. It's it's you know very much like bread or beer is liquid bread. You like really taste every part of that quote with that fruity element as well as if the bread had those you know not like quite like a fruit cake but you know something that more people like than that <laughs> it looks like a little ginger you could get out of this you know what the hops are bringing to this besides a little bit of prickly i think the carbonation of the hops are bringing a little prickliness 
slight minty note, which works really well. Yeah. Yeah, that's, wow, that's really nice. Like, it's just like a cooling thing, almost like real mint does. Yeah, a little soft caramel. Yeah, but, you know, to, to summarize, it's it's bread in liquid form, liquid bread. Um, a, a sweeter bread with those dried fruits. Maybe a little caramel drizzle on top. That makes it sound more like it has more caramel taste than it does. Yeah, this is this is great. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Look at that the lacing. I mean, it's just such a beautiful beer. I, I could keep going, but I'm sure I'm going to be talking about it on a live stream, so I can kind of do a little bit in real time on there. Anyway, have you had this beer before? You better have. Uh, if you're watching this review and you haven't really tried a lot of Belgian beers, like definitely St. Bernard is relatively easy to get delicious stuff, connection to Westie uh, 12, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so definitely worth seeking out, you know, usually has a decent price point and all that. I love this beer. I look forward to this every single year. Uh, two of the three Christmas beers I'm doing, I look forward to every single year. Uh, I might do more. I, I might putting myself into three for some reason, but I'll definitely be doing at least three. Um, but anyway, if you had this beer before, anything you're drinking now you want to tell me about, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer views of both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.